Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about what the Schmidt number is. We'll talk about what this number represents and present a few examples where this number could be beneficial. The Schmidt number, often denoted as SC or an N subscript SC, is a dimensionless number, which means it has no units. But what does that even mean? Dimensionless numbers and transport phenomena and engineering as a whole provide us a convenient way to characterize problems when there are several coupled transport methods. The Schmidt number represents the ratio of the momentum diffusivity to the mass diffusivity. This means that we are comparing the relative sizes of the hydrodynamic boundary layer and the concentration boundary layer. If you are unsure what boundary layers are, I will leave a link to a video in the description below to aid your understanding. As an example, let's look at a flat plate. This is what we get for various Schmidt numbers. As you can see here, at high Schmidt numbers, we have a greater momentum transfer than mass transfer. And at low Schmidt numbers, we have a greater mass transfer than momentum transfer. Therefore, we use the Schmidt number to characterize fluid flow when we have both momentum and mass transfer present. We can represent this mathematically as the dynamic viscosity, which is simply the kinematic viscosity, divided by the mass diffusivity. To better understand what this actually means, let's take a look at a more practical example in which we would use the Schmidt number. Let's imagine that we have a reactive fluid flowing down a given pipe, and the walls of our pipe are coated in a catalyst to promote a certain reaction. Our Schmidt number can help us understand how the reactive species will convert to our product, but how you may ask. Well, let's imagine that we had a very high Schmidt number. This means that the momentum diffusivity is far greater than the mass diffusivity which means that our fluid is traveling at a high velocity and is unable to transfer mass to the walls of our cylinder to react. This will leave us with a product that has a high amount of unreacted components in our product, which is far from ideal. Whereas if we had a low Schmidt number, our mass transfer would be more significant than our momentum transfer, so the reactant would have more time to get to the catalyst wall and react. I hope this fictitious example comparing two Schmidt numbers can help you better understand what I'm saying. Now, what are some typical ranges for real Schmidt numbers? Well, as proven by our previous example, it is often the case that fluids with lesser viscosity, so gases, have a lower Schmidt number around 0.6 to 1. On the other end of the spectrum, highly viscous liquids have a higher Schmidt number, something in the middle, could be like a gas liquid system for example, like methane into water, which has a Schmidt number roughly of 550 to 600, although this is temperature dependent. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding of what the Schmidt number is and how we can use it to relate the momentum diffusivity to the mass diffusivity of certain transport problems. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address your concerns.